Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Motherland Experience. It's your girl Nye here and today I have two amazing guests in store for you. I have a lovely father and son duo named Jalen and Ivan and they're going to be explaining their journey to the motherland from the UK. They're here for a nine day staycation and we're going to be talking about them being landowners here, their amazing experiences being on the continent among other things as well. So sit back, relax and let me take you for a ride. Hey guys, I am sitting here with these two amazing gentlemen. So you guys, please help me welcome Ivan and Jalen to the show. Hi you guys. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, how are you? I'm very well today. Good to see yourself. Oh, I am wonderful. I am just absolutely peachy. Thank you guys so much for coming on the channel. No problem. You're welcome. Oh, I really appreciate that. So please can you tell us where you guys are from? Um, me, myself, I'm from London, the UK. Mm, okay, from London, the UK. And what about you? I'm originally from Jamaica, but live in the UK. Okay, yeah. so what part of the UK are you guys from? Are you from London and you're from... Um, I used to live in London and then I moved to um, Sheffield about three years now. Mm, okay, yeah. so you're from Sheffield. So you guys are um, father and son, am I correct? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's so. Aww, that's so. But you're like his pride and joy, right? <laughs> Look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah, I am. I know I am. <laughs> so please, can you tell us kind of like what, um, how long you've been here in Ghana? I have been here for nine days today. <laughs> nine days. Yes. <laughs> wow. So you guys are babies. You guys are newbies. Wow. Quite new. So please, can you please share with us what started your journey here to Ghana? Um, I started my journey here. Um, I always wanted to move to somewhere in Africa. Um, okay. Not sure where. And then when I have an idea where I wanted to go, I wanted to go Gambia. Mm, but then okay. um, my partner said, no, I don't want to go Gambia. Mm. I want to go Ghana. Mm. Um, so I said, okay then. Um, Happy wife, happy life. It so. was a happy wife. Happy. <laughs> so did your wife want to come to Ghana? or? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So um, um, I know a lot of people in the UK um, mm -hmm. who affiliate it with people from Ghana and some people actually from Ghana. So I just start reaching out to people and ask them um, how about acquiring land in Ghana and mm -hmm. what's the process and what's the pros and cons. And um, they tell me the good side, they tell me the bad side. Mm -hmm. And um, so someone um, referred me to this company, Royal Kingdom. Okay. And um, gave me the CEO direct number. Uh -huh. um, so I rang the CEO and um, we had a good dialect. Um, mm -hmm. We exchanged um, conversation for maybe two weeks or so. And um, mm, okay. he said um, I could transferring the money and it will take care of everything kind of mm -hmm. said no 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 no, no. i <laughs> wanted that i'll come and um see for myself mm -hmm. and yeah that's that's what i did so I, i've booked my flight and i'm letting him know when i've booked my flight um to come here and um yeah when i landed in in ghana nine days ago i rung him and let him know i'm mm -hmm. i'm here on the ground wow so you, i guess you would say your journey here to ghana was um, maybe through your wife, a little bit of inquiry, and maybe through Royal Kingdom Estates in terms of land? Yes. yes. Okay. So to acquire um, land. Oh. Yeah. And um, the process with that, um, acquiring the land is quite smooth, quite straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, the Royal Kingdom will actually explain everything from A straight down to Z with mm -hmm. everything with the process and the procedures and um, the legalities of obtaining the land. Oh, well, that's really wonderful. That's what really Royal Kingdom Estates does, is really make sure that the land buying experience is a good one, yes. you know? So yes. with you, young man, how old are you? I'm 16. You're 16? Yeah. Oh, wow. Remember those 16 years. So how about you being here as a young person? Like, you know, because you could have easily been like, I wanted to stay in the UK, I wanted to just chill, but you decided to come here with your father. So how has that been for you? Um, I feel like it's just been a great experience mm -hmm. and just seeing new things and learning new things mm -hmm. and like moving on forward every day. I just feel like it's brought a whole different mentality and mindset mm -hmm. to me coming from the UK. But yeah, that's, that's it. 
Wow, wow. Well, just by me hearing you, it sounds like that this experience kind of you being a young a young person coming here yeah. that some young people will not get to experience like another yeah. culture another vibe yeah so how has that been has it been like any culture shock for you guys what's one culture shock you guys have gone through if um, any? <laughs> the subtleness and the willingness to help mm -hmm. it's a big difference from um what you see in the in the uk um there's a level of um support in the uk but mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. It's where they see that you really, really need the help, then they will support you. Here, yeah. once you look like you're in need, mm -hmm. someone will offer you a helping hand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like mm -hmm. more of like a communal, communal. type of yeah. vibe here, which yeah. is nice. It really yeah. is. Because in the West, you don't always get that. No. You know, so it's like coming back home. How does that feel almost coming back to the motherland? What What is one word to describe God for you guys? I'll start with you. Incredible. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Okay. You tell me why is it incredible for you? Because I feel like the way Ghana is advertised in other countries, it's not a good representation of how it actually is, given that incredible factor when I came here. Mm, wow. That's actually, that's deep. It really, really is because we, we get painted a narrative in yeah. the West about the whole continent as a whole, mm -hmm. you know, and like, oh, you don't want to go there yeah. or what's there for you. But when you come, it's like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? This is another world that's opened up to you, you know? So would you concur with your son? Um, yes, tranquility. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Oh, very, 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 peaceful. very, very, very peaceful. Wow. Um, people here are more quick to resolve than to mm -hmm. have a conflict. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, it, does it kind of put you in the mind of Jamaica a little bit by being here? No. It doesn't. <laughs> Jamaica is, is, say, the same as Jamaica, but without the conflicts. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, same way that um, everything is practically the same, except with the drive on the um, opposite side. Mm. Yeah. But food is almost similar, and um, all the food that you find in Jamaica, you find them here. All of, all of them. Really? And more. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that, though, by a lot of people who have come here. This is a nice bit of people from the diaspora that have a Jamaican background. And they're saying it's so similar to Jamaica, you know, yeah. with the vibe, the food, yeah. you know, the scenery and everything. So I find that really, really interesting. Yeah. And um, it's, it's the, I find the Ghanaian um, people are quite welcoming to Jamaican. Very, very welcoming. And everywhere I go, I see a Jamaican flag. Over. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. represent, I have to say, yeah. here, they represent the gym and love the Jamaican culture as yeah. well. You know, so can you please share with us, has there been, through this experience of visiting here, I know you guys have just been here nine days, but has there been like a highlight of your trip being here in Ghana? Um, highlight of the trip. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's just the same. I've, um, experience in a, a, a calmer environment with people like yourself and mm -hmm. you know yeah. and that's the that's the highlight for me mm, what about you the highlight for me would be just seeing around seeing the, the natural views like mm -hmm. you don't really get that same type of look in the uk and london mm -hmm. that's that's the highlight for me wow so just seeing kind of the nature yeah. kind of like nature-esque so um, have you guys been to any other course other than the Eastern region? But have you guys been to any other regions while being here in Ghana or is it just across? Um, I've been to so much places so I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember no. everything. Oh, wow. Well, I have a question to ask you. Have you like connected with any young people by being here? Or is it too short of a trip? Or how do you feel about the younger people, younger Ghanaians here? Um. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I've spent enough time here mm -hmm. to really connect with or socialize with people around my age. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of young people here. It yeah. is. It's like it's like a boom. It really, really is. So, could you please share with us one thing that you would like to tell your brothers and sisters from the UK of being here? You know, something that they may not know or they may want to know about Ghana. Um. 
all the health benefits are here with the vitamin D where you get naturally from the sun, all the food you, you want is here. Mm -hmm. The superfood with the high alkaline level is here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just a, just a good vibes and you get more for your money here. Um, there's more value for your money here in terms of acquiring land space. It's not like living in a flat in, in the UK, living right. in, yeah, with no back garden, no side garden, and just a narrow space for your entrance to enter your house. Exactly, exactly. It's kind of more, yeah, so, you know, more spaces. Yeah, come and find out yourself. Mm -hmm. Come and find out yourself. Oh, wow. So, yeah, segueing from that, you guys have lands, of course, with Royal Kingdom Estate. So yes. where did you guys purchase? Your land or which, um, or which I, community? I remember the lot number. <laughs> <laughs> or which community did you purchase land at? Was it Grace City? Grace, City? yeah, Grace City. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Grace City, but I can't remember the community name. Um, name. Oh, okay. Is it a pump? A, a, a pump? A pump? Yeah, I think it's. I think I know kind of like where you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what was one thing when you first saw Grace City that really captured you about the land? I want to ask you. Space. Space. This is the same okay. thing I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it from him. Space. Yeah. Mm, so it's kind of like yeah. wide open spaces. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Great space. Mm, it is beautiful. Yeah. You have like the rolling hills. You have, it's very scenic there. And like yeah. you said, very tranquil, nice vibe. So how do you see Great City fitting into your family? Um, peaceful environment for my children, upbringing. Mm -hmm. Um, and here is no no violence, and it, mm -hmm. I, I believe it will be a great community to yeah. bring them up in. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. How do you feel about Grace City in terms of how do you think it will be a good fit for your family, for your mom, um, or your siblings? I, I just think the space alone mm -hmm. will just provide some form of like mm -hmm. it will provide some sort of things to do where. It may not be there now, but I can see in the future activities mm -hmm. will find this way there. And I just feel like it will give a great living for people that move there. Yeah, exactly. Because that's one thing that Royal Kingdom Estates prides itself on is the location. You're surrounded by, you know, a lot of different amenities there and a yeah. free, you know, different tourist sites. And of course, you know, also the scenic views and everything. So it's like it was strategically picked out for people like you in mind. It yes. really is. And what you were talking about with the experience of Royal Kingdom Estates yeah. earlier that you, you know, connected with um, our CEO, Danny, you mm -hmm. connected really with Royal Kingdom Estates. And so kind of what do you feel the Royal K Kingdom Estates has to offer that it's different than other, um, other companies? Well, I've, I'm engaged with other companies, but I think Royal Kingdom um, stand accountable for their words and their action and the credibility is there mm -hmm. and they'll also support you with other means exactly yeah. exactly so to be. one final word from you guys is what um kind of like what do you what advice would you give to people who haven't been here yet who are planning on visiting or coming what advice would you give to them before they come um and do your research if if you need to um but just come mm -hmm. just come that's all just come just come <laughs> what about you any advice for like any young people that are coming to live here basically the same thing just um, come see for yourself and then you'll make an idea of it all right. Well, you guys, this has been a wonderful interview. Thank you so, so much. I think you're like the first like father and son I've interviewed and I'm <laughs> loving it. I really, really am. You know, come in here. You came here with your dad. So more fathers and sons, definitely please come here and experience Ghana for yourself. So thank you guys so much for, for coming on the channel. And thank you guys for tuning in. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please share this information with others. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>